Another example, P and Q are two planes on the same circle of latitude 79 degrees south. P is on longitude 68 degrees east, while Q is on longitude 22 degrees west. The angular distance between P and Q is what we are to look for. Okay, so let us quickly draw a sketch. The north and the south, you draw the polar axis. So, can as well draw the equator as usual. Sometimes there is an imaginary one going across at the back. So now, you know this is the equator, right? Good. So you go back to the question. They both share the same latitude, 79 degrees south. So you draw that. That is on coming down to the north, to the south pole. Okay. So you can have that label, 79 degrees south. That is drawn. Then the longitude of the position P is at 68 degrees east, that is on the right hand side. So you draw from the north pole downwards. Okay, so you can have that label 68 degrees east. Okay, so this is the point at which the latitude and longitude meet. So that is position P. Okay, then for the position Q. The longitude is 22 degrees west, that is on the left hand side. Alright, so you can have that level to 22 degrees west, and this is the position of Q, where the longitude and latitude meet. Okay, so this is a, a parallel line. So it has its own center. So now we draw the radius. It has its own radius as well. That was the means. So the previous ones are sharing the radius. You know, the radius are being drawn from the center of the circle. So that's the the radius of the great circle. But this time around is the radius of the small circle. Okay. So now let us quickly draw the cross section of the overview. So now we have from the center of this, okay, the north and the south. So it moved 22 degrees west, 22 degrees, then to the East, it's moved 70, is it 70? No, 68 degrees to the east. So we have 68 degrees. So the angular difference and the position, this is the position Q and this is the position P. So the angular difference, as you can see, we're talking about this angle between Q and P. Okay. So the angular difference or the angular distance, that's what it means, the angular distance of Q and P is equal to the addition of the two degrees, 22 plus 68, and that gives us 90 degrees. All right? Good.